I am standing on the property just off of Left Fork of Island Creek in Pike County where yesterday two men lost their lives while the homeowner says they were attempting to steal from the building behind me. And 24 hours after the shooting, the homeowner says he is still dealing with what he felt he had to do to protect his life. Randall Stewart and his family have lived here all their lives. And while they are still coping with the events that unfolded early Monday morning, so are their neighbors. Well, I feel sorry for the man, you know what I'm saying? But I also feel sorry for other people's children. But they was 40 year old. They ought to know better, you know. Those who know Stewart say he would give someone in need the shirt off his back. And he never bother nobody. You can go to him, he'll help you do anything, bar anything he's got. And unlike what many people are saying about this Pike County community, those who live near Sleepy Hollow say they wouldn't live anywhere else. It's, it's not a bad area. There's a lot of good people on there. You know, a lot of good people. I'm very, I've been down. I've been there 20 years. Randall Stewart says until Kentucky State Police completes its investigation into the shooting, he has been advised not to discuss the specifics of what happened. But he did tell us it is very difficult to deal with. And many of his neighbors say if they had been in his shoes... I'd have done the same thing, you know. Reporting in Sleepy Hollow for EKB News, I'm Shannon Deskins.